Guys, we finally settled Chris and my annual debate on whether Christmas tree lights should be colored or white. Costco Christmas trees. By clicking a button whether the lights are white lights or colored lights. Where have these been for the last like four years? Fantastic purchase, no regrets. If our neighbors can see our Christmas tree, they must think we're nuts because it's constantly going back and forth and we haven't been able to, to settle on one. It's white lights, by the way. White lights for the win. Hello everyone, I am here today to share with you guys some DIY dollar store gift ideas. I have been scouring through Pinterest, because what else is new? And I came across some really cool dollar store DIYs that I thought would be really fun as gift opportunities for you guys. So I've linked all the initial blog posts below, so go and check them out, show them some support, and without further ado, Let's get into this. So the first idea I want to share with you guys was actually something I had come across when I was looking for gift ideas online and I came across this kit that you could buy that was called like a read me when letters kit. And I was like, I could, I could totally do that from the dollar store. So what this basically is, is a box full of personalized letters for whoever it is, a boyfriend, girlfriend, it could be your best friend, it could be your mom, whoever it is, for specific um, things that they're going through in their life. So read me when you're feeling sad, read me when it's your birthday, things like that. You will need a nice box. So this is the one that I found. It's like this silver sort of pattern box. I thought they'd be really pretty. You could decorate your own box if you wanted instead using like wrapping paper or something. Um, you could add some like little bling things to this because they have those at the dollar store that'd be fun or you could just like print read me when and then put their name on it whatever you want to do and then you're going to need some paper and envelopes again I sort of went with the whole gray theme but you could do something a little bit more festive if you wanted this has sort of a sheen to it which isn't really picking up that much on camera I don't feel like but um, it does have this nice pretty sheen to it which I thought would make it a little bit more fancy and then finish it up with some pretty pens and then it's basically up to you and your creativity so I came up with a couple ideas that I wrote down that I thought I would share with you guys in case you need a, like a thought starter but some of them include when you need a pep talk when you're feeling lonely uh, when it's your birthday when it's exam time and you can include some like little like Hershey kisses or something in there as well when you're at your breaking point when you're bored and you could do like little like Scrabble or little like crosswords or something inside the envelope that'd be fun there's so many different ideas out there if you guys have any other ideas leave them in the comment section below and sort of the gift that keeps on giving you around so I thought that'd be really fun the next DIY I want to share with you guys is this hot chocolate kit and I saw this online and I was like oh it's so pretty and it's super super easy to do and it looks really cute and it's thoughtful and it's DIY so the things you are going to need for this particular thing are some sort of like test tube type things with stoppers. <laughs> the stoppers are important. Now these particular test tubes are actually from Ikea because I had gone to the dollar store back in August and I found test tubes that looked identical to these at the dollar store and I was like, I don't need those because I remember thinking like, what are these for? Like science experiments? I couldn't figure it out. So I went back because of course, of course then I need them. And, and they weren't there at the particular moment that I was there. They could have been sold out. They could have no longer been carrying them at that particular dollar store. I think it was Dollar Tree that I was at, but I know they did have them. So go and check yours out because maybe they carry them. Otherwise Ikea for sure has them. Um, so you'll need that some ribbon, rubber bands to help hold the test tubes together. And then of course the ingredients to make hot chocolate. So I like the little hot chocolate packs, again from the dollar store, marshmallows, chocolate chips, and then the little peppermint candy type things. I just like crush them up and put them into the test tubes. The one thing, make sure that you rubber band these all together. That is going to help hold it in place. And it's also gonna help hold the ribbon in place as well, because it, it adds just a bit of traction. You could add a mug with it if you wanted or something like that. But yeah, just a really nice, easy DIY. And the last DIY I wanted to share with you guys was actually a tea wreath that I saw online and it was beautiful. Oh my gosh, I was like, oh my gosh, I want this in my home for like all the time. So I put my own spin on this idea and I made sort of like a snowflake. A tea snowflake, how cute is that? Now obviously it doesn't need to be tea, it's basically anything that's gonna be held by a clothespin. Hot chocolate, you could do coffee, you could do gift cards, you could do even like a countdown to Christmas, like an advent wreath and do like little um, dollar store um, like, like toys in each little package or something like that. Really there are a ton of different ideas that you could do but I really like this whole like snowflake thing going on so this is what you're gonna need to recreate this for yourself. You're gonna need to start with some sort of a sturdy cardboard or Bristol board or something like that. I had some 
some cardboard sitting in the garage, so I use that. But you can also get Bristol board from the dollar store and just take two pieces to kind of give it a little bit more uh, sturdiness. And then you're going to cut it into a circle. Um, the woman who did the original blog post used a plate to cut out the um, center ring, so you can do that as well if you want. And then you're just going to cut it all out. Um, I did two pieces of cardboard, so then I just glue them together to make them really, really sturdy and strong. And then instead of using really pretty paper, because I couldn't find that very easily at the dollar store, I used wrapping paper instead. So I used this nice bright blue snowflake themed one. Just make sure when you're um, pasting it onto the ring itself that you're cutting little slits into the inside ring and then into the outside ring because that's going to fold over and it's going to help you to get that really nice rounded edge when you're actually gluing it down. When I was starting doing this, I was kind of going like piece by piece and like putting hot glue and then sticking it down. Hot glue, sticking it down. And then I got, then I got really over the top and I started like doing like a big ring and like sticking them all down at once. Be careful because I burned myself multiple times. Then after that's all in place, you're going to need some clothespins. And if I was going to do this again, I would probably spray paint the clothespins just to make it look, I don't know, a little bit more snowflakey. Um, I would do them in white and then do the glitter on top and sort of like a silver and iridescent and white combo or something like that. Um, but I just went with plain because that's what I had and there's no spray paint at the dollar store. So I put down all the clothespins to where I wanted them to sit on the circle. I ended up with about 10. I think the woman who did it online, she did about 22. So really you can do as many as will fit on your little circle wheel. And then I went with the glitter idea because I thought that was awesome. It looked so good. And what I did is I used a glue stick and then just rubbed glue on the clothespin and then dipped it into a bowl that I had filled with glitter. I let it dry overnight and then the next morning I put more glue glue on top of the glitter and dipped it back in again and that was way better. So I highly recommend doing that if you are going to do the whole glitter route. You do not need a finishing spray. However, I do recommend it if you're going to hold, go the whole like glitter route. Um, it's just going to make sure that it stays intact and doesn't have all sorts of fallout all over the floor. Then you can put whatever you want around the outside of your wreath. I chose tea bags because I enjoy a good cup of tea. You could keep this for yourself and use it for when guests come over and they can choose their own tea and you could do like a whole multi-pack of different types of tea if you want or you could do like a green and red theme or something like that, whatever you want. But um, this is what it looked like and I thought it looked really cute and really fun and it would be a nice present for someone who enjoys, in this case, tea. And that's everything for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you love these sort of dollar store-esque videos and if you want me to do more digging through dollar store DIYs, maybe testing some out in the future. Leave me a comment below if there are any in particular that you want me to test out. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on more of these gift guides that are coming at you. I'm pretty excited about it. I have tons of new Christmas videos so stay tuned for that. And don't forget to check out my Rachel of Life channel if you're interested in more like mom and home and uh, lifestyle kind of recipe stuff. Um, I put up new videos every Saturday on that channel and that's everything. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing week so far and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you girls. Mwah.